Albie sure is in his feelings. He's in his feelings because Quincy decided to post a picture of him and Kim Porter when he was very young. He was in a... This is it right here, okay? This is just him and his mother, uh, Kim Porter. Let me see if you guys can see the comments. And the title of this, the comment to set out the picture says... Here's a rare photo of me with my mom and dad. I miss you every day. Okay, there's no second picture to show him his mom and his dad. It's a clear indication that he feels like his dad wasn't there for him. So Quincy is dealing with his own set of trauma. And I'll be sure is not respecting that or probably don't want to have the conversation about his particular trauma. I feel like you know, especially after reading Kim Porter's manuscript is right here on my page. I read the whole thing. I do believe that the manuscript is real and there's been an excerpts of it that has not been disputed. Now, people don't think the manuscript is real because I'll be sure came out and disputed it because it said two things. It specified that Diddy would pat Quincy on his butt when he was a little boy. And it also said that I'll be sure and Diddy was sleeping together. And they wanted to have threesomes with Kim Porter. So certain things that was going on with Quincy getting smack patted on the butt and stuff like that. I'm trying to figure out, was there an immoral done to Quincy? And it's just become so normalized to where he just don't care, but he really just don't like his father because he felt like his father should have rescued him for, from it. I think that that's a possibility. Just look at the situation with Chris Sean Rock and her family. It's a possibility that Quincy could have been S.A. Salone Bella, the psychic. She said that Kim Porter witnessed Diddy do something immoral to a kid. Now, this is why I got 530,000 clicks and views on the video, because this is what I was talking about. The things that they're not talking about, that they're not seeing. They was pushing the false narratives, going into the conspiracy, not focused on the actual victims like Kim Porter, like Quincy, the ones that have not gotten justice. I said that seven months ago, the manuscript dropped. You don't think I'm gonna see this author, Courtney? You understand what I'm saying? Y'all going to Sean, Sean Atwood, for what? That's a clout chaser. That bitch is a drag queen that carries cell phones up his ass like he had a purse up there. He was a pocket purse in jail. All the black people going over there, they just talking. Most of the shit is lies. They ain't talking about the real victims. They ain't talking about, they not the real victims. You even got Natalie or whatever her name. The lady that was shot in the face by Diddy. Got a settlement, got money and still going around. What mode do you want? That's already been adjudicated. Diddy didn't unalive you. There's no statute, to, there's no statute of limitation on unalivement. Even if it was attempted unalivement, there's a statute of limitation on that girl. That should happen 25 plus years ago. It's over. Oh, no. But y'all sit over there on Sean Atwood platform on these big ass, fake ass platforms and don't want to hear the truth because it make you feel like you can relate to this person or some shit. That's just like giving a bitch a moderation on your channel. They take that, that virtual monkey ran serious because they ain't got no monkey ranch in real life. Niggas need to put it down. I firmly believe that something immoral happened to Quincy. And I've said that time and time again. But here they go. Make it make sense. Sean David Way, Tissa Tales. Quincy's not a victim. Quincy's not a potential witness in the case. Oh, Quincy's just fine. Of course they're going to do that. Look at Sean. Look at Sean David Way. Just look at that motherfucker. How the hell you 40 years old with braces in your mind for five plus years? That tell me that you probably had the droid syndrome when you was born. Oh, Cover up that big ass cavity. It ain't even about the teeth. You reconstructing all that shit like Predator. You know, when Predator open their mouth, that shit open like the droid syndrome. That's Sean David Way. Bitch, ain't no fucking way in here. You got baby shark teeth with braces on it for five, eight years. And you wanted to say that I was lying about Quincy. Quincy is a victim. And I'm going to keep telling you that. I think that Quincy is a potential witness in all of this. You think, oh, Pops, hey, he locked up. Hey, I'm pretty sure he's seen Diddy beating his mother. I'm pretty sure he has his own speculation about what Diddy did to his mother. 
He can't fuck with Abby Shook because Abby Shook fucking with a case. That's what I believe. And we won't know until September. So if that happens, give me my tens. And if you feel like I attack your favorite content creator, let me tell you something. Rather I don't like them, I just want to collaborate with them. And if you you don't have an open mind to know that if you share an algorithm with me and you putting out a false narrative that's opposition to mine, I'm going to have to correct you and keep it pushing. Because you brainwashing people to believe that bullshit that you talking about. Y'all niggas going to get checked. So I think Quincy is dealing with some childhood trauma and some resentment towards his dad. He specified, here's a picture of me, my mom, and my dad. Dad is not there. Dad is not there. At all. Not in the picture. That's what he's saying. So you could have been there a couple of times, a couple of events here and there when he's grown, but you weren't there to see what was happening in the dark. You don't think that this boy has trauma from seeing his mother get beat, put on, unalived, and all these castes coming. You don't think he's dealing with his own demons. He can't fuck with you, Abby, sure. You want all the attention in the clock to make it about you. You failed your own motherfucking son, and that's what you got to live with. That's what you got to live with. Why you ain't post no picture with your son when he was young? Why you ain't did all of this? Now you're in the comments going back and forth with people. Saying the real question is he still following a man that abused his mother and he knows it very clearly. Think about that when you're sitting at your desk at work on Monday trying to unravel this mystery in your mind. Causing him more trauma. You oh you oh Quincy, I know he did this to you. You don't think the boy know? You don't think the boy don't want no justice for his mother? Why are you invading his personal space? If he did that to the mother, wonder what he did to the son. Again, Salone Bella said, Diddy allegedly did something immoral to kids. To kid to a kid. One year before she untimely passed. Her anniversary was just yesterday. Rest in peace, Kim Porter. Her anniversary, November the 15th. Now y'all out here tissa tail make it make say he messed with his daughters. No, he didn't. Diddy's not gonna mess with none of his biological children. Let's be clear about that. Quince is not his. Took the mama from the man and took the man and gained power, control, influence, and patted Quincy on the butt when he was younger. What that turned to when he was grown? A year before Kim Porter unpat uh, untimely demise. Guess what happened? You had Quincy auditioning for a star. And you had a video where Diddy came out. Look at my son. My beautiful son. Oh, boy, you beautiful. I covered all of that. Nobody wants to pay attention to any of that because the knot was right the whole time. Y'all niggas spent lives for clicks and views. And now that that shit ain't working no more, what's next for you? You're going to now say what I said. But when you were saying the lie, nobody supported me because I look like the liar and I look crazy. And now you're going to start saying the same shit that I said. I'm not going to respect that and I'm not going to tolerate that. Okay, bitch, I'm a, I told you guys a long time ago, bitch, I am the last Targaryen and you're not going to play with me.